Hi! For this video, we will be having two examples of word problems relative to the conic section ellipse. For example number one, two girls are standing in a whispering gallery that is shaped like semi-elliptical arch. The height of the arch is 30 feet and the width is 100 feet. How far from the center of the room should the whispering dishes be placed so that the girls can whisper to each other? Note, the whispering dishes are placed at the foci of an ellipse. For this problem, we need first to have an illustration. Some word problems are best solved if you have an illustration first for you to know and plot the given points. For this problem, I have here a Cartesian plane. And if you notice, our given numbers are 30 and 100, which is very large if you start at 1. So for this example, we will be starting by 10. Let us now analyze our given. In our word problem, the height of the arch is 30 feet and the width is 100 feet. So you can see, the width is greater than the height of the arch. Therefore, our semi-elliptical arch is horizontal. Let us now plot the points. In our Cartesian plane, the center is at the origin or at 0, 0. So for us to get a width of 100 feet, we must have 50 units to the right and 50 units to the left for it to be equal to 100. These red points here are also called the vertices. Next, we will be having the height of the arch, which is 30 feet. When we plot this one, we will be having a point here, the blue point. Okay, this is also known as the covertex, which lies in the minor axis of our ellipse. In our previous session about ellipse, we all know that we must have two vertices or the vertices, two covertex, and two focus or the foci. But since we only have a semi-elliptical arc, we will be having one cover text only for this word problem. Now, let us now draw our semi-elliptical arc. This is our semi-elliptical arc. Given the illustration, we now know that the center of our ellipse is at the origin or at 0, 0. And our ellipse is horizontal. In our previous session about ellipse, we all know that if our ellipse is horizontal and its center is at the origin, the standard form of equation will be x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. So for us to complete the equation, we will be needing the value of A, which is the value that represents the vertex or A vertex, and B, which is a value that represents the covertex. So for us to get the value, let us look at our illustration. Earlier, we said that our A is the value for our vertex. So our vertex is the red point here. One of our vertex is equal to 50. Therefore, our letter A will be equal to 50. And our letter B, which is a letter that represents our co-vertex, which is the blue point here, is equal to 30. So, if we are to get the value of a squared and b squared, we need to square 50 and 30. Now, we will be having a squared is equal to 2,500 since 50 squared is equal to 2,500. And b squared is equal to 900 since 30 squared is equal to 
900. So if you want to know the standard form of equation of this problem, it will be x squared over 2,500 plus y squared over 900 is equal to 1. Are we done? No. Why? Because the question in our word problem is how far from the center of the room should the whispering dishes be placed so that the girls can whisper to each other? Whispering dishes are placed at the foci of an ellipse. Here we have our letter A for the vertex, our letter V for the covertex. So the foci is missing. The foci stands for letter C. Therefore, we need to compute the value of C. The formula will be C is equal to the square root of A squared minus B squared. For us to get the answer, we need to substitute the value of A squared and B squared in our equation. We will be having C is equal to 2,500 minus 900. We all know that 2,500 minus 900 is equal to 1,600. And get the square root of it, we will be having the answer of 40. Since we get an answer of C is equal to 40, therefore, each girl should stand 40 feet from the center of the room for them to whisper to each other. Note, don't forget the feet. Why? Because units are very important when it comes to word problem. So our final answer will be 40 feet. That is our example number one. For our example number two, the orbit of the planet around the sun is described by the equation x squared over 640,000 plus y squared over 630,000 is equal to 1. Where the sun is at one focus and all units are in millions of kilometers. The planet is closest and farthest from the sun when it is at the vertices. How far is the planet when it is closest to the sun and how far is the planet when it is the farthest from the sun? In our example number 2, since the standard form of equation of an ellipse is given, we can now proceed with the computation and the giving of values for A, B, and C before we proceed to the illustration. Let us now begin. Our equation is x squared over 640,000 plus y squared over 630,000 is equal to 1. Let us analyze the given standard form of equation. If you notice, the denominator on the x part is larger than the denominator on the y part. Therefore, we can say that in example number 2, our ellipse is still horizontal and since there are no h and k given, the center is still at the origin. Now, from our equation, we can now get the value of our a squared and b squared, which is 640,000 and 630,000 respectively. Next. After getting the a squared and b squared, we are now to get the value of a and b. For us to get the value of a, we just get the square root of 640,000, making it a is equal to 800. And for us to get the value of b, we are to square root 630,000, and then we will be having B is equal to 793.73 since 630,000 is, is, is not a perfect square. Therefore, we will be having a number that has a decimal point. Note, if you have that kind of number, please reduce it into two decimal places only. Now, we have the value of our A 
for our vertex, our B, for our covertex, and last, we will be finding out the value of our C for us to get the value that we can give to our focus or our foci. For C, we will be having C is equal to the square root of A squared minus B squared. Therefore, we need to substitute these values to our equation. We will be having C is equal to the square root of 640,000 minus 630,000. This will be equal to square root of 10,000 or equal to 100. So, our letter C is equal to 100. Now, let us use this information and the values that we got earlier for us to get an illustration or to graph our ellipse. But first, let us have a review. Last time, we said that A is for the vertex, B is for the covertex, and C is for the focus. Normally, in ellipse, we have two vertex or the vertices, we have two covertex, and we have two focus or the foci. Let us now plot the points. Here we have A is equal to 800. This will be our vertex. And remember that our ellipse is horizontal. If this is the case, our two vertices are right here. One in the positive side and one in the negative side. Next, let us have letter B. Letter B is for the cover text. It is equal to 793.73. Therefore, if we will be having one negative, it will be right here. And one positive, it will be right here. Near 800, since 793.73, 0.73 is almost 800. Later, I will give you the exact coordinates of these points. Next, let us have the focus. The focus is equal to 100, or letter C is equal to 100. Normally, again, in ellipse, we are to find two focus or the foci. But in our word problem, it says here that the sun is at one focus. Therefore, we only need to plot one where it is here. This will be our sun. Let us now have the exact coordinates of the following points. We will be having vertex 1 as negative 800, 0. Our second vertex will be 800, 0. Our first covertex is 0 and negative 793.73. And our second covertex will be 0 and positive 793.73. There's no 3. I'm sorry, I forgot. And then we will be having the focus of 100 and 0. This will be our planet, and this will be the sun, and our ellipse will be its orbit. Okay? Before we answer the given question in the word problem, let us analyze this statement or this sentence. The planet is closest and farthest from the sun when it is at the vertices. So, again, in an illustration, our vertex or the vertices are negative 800, 0, which is here, and positive 800, 0, which is here. Those are our vertices. Now, if we are to look again in our illustration, having the focus as our sun and having the vertices as our planet, the distance between vertex number 2 to our focus is the closest and the distance of our vertex number one to our focus is the farthest. Okay, let us now count. From the focus, we will be having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred million kilometers. 
Meaning, this is the closest distance of our planet from the sun. While, if we are to count the distance between the vertex number 1 and the focus, we will be having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 900 million kilometers, which is the farthest distance of our planet from the sun. That answer our problem number two. Well, that was it. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next video.